up everybody this is Riso from C Manga and welcome to my review of Ippo chapter 1060 Wind God Powerless so this chapter it pretty much went the same way that any Ippo chapter goes you know with him getting his ass handed to him um, yeah Ippo was just basically getting beat down all that really kind of happened obviously in it is obviously in blanking out and yeah his muscle memory taking over that's right folks prepare for the comeback here it comes but damn Ippo he was just getting his ass handed to him. It wasn't even funny. Seriously, like, Alfredo was not letting up on that relentless assault after a relentless assault. It was disgusting. In all honesty, though, I do kind of agree with, like, the way that Alfredo was thinking. Um, you know, I was obviously, I was super excited for Ippo to be facing number two, you know, not facing number two in the world. But, like I said in the last review, he really does need some time kind of, like, getting used to the world level before he can take on Ricardo. Because, like, this fight right here, it's just a prime example of what would happen if we went to face Ricardo straight away, you know? So, I know Ippo has tenacity and everything, but seriously, he can't be taking... He can't keep taking all these beatings. It's kind of really horrible to watch, you know? I mean, it's just painful to read. The amount of, like, brain rattling you're seeing... Um, seriously, I do not know how this guy isn't punch drunk yet. He, like, gets like, beat down like this most of his matches that he faces, that he takes on someone who's, like, super strong. Let's not forget, like, the friggin' Wally match. He got his ass handed to him for, like, what, most of the match. But then, again, obviously, you got, like, the flip side of that, like, um, the Kojima match where he took him out in one strike. Sure, that wasn't really boxing, but still, you know, he took him out in one strike. It was pretty nasty. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of like, I know, obviously, that's Ippo style. He just goes head first in. But, yeah, I don't know. I think he kind of, like, needs to still up himself a bit more so that he doesn't always have to resort to just a straight-up in fight. You know, he could actually, like, take on, do a little bit more. We know he's definitely not going to be no outboxer, but still. So he needs just something a little more before he can face Ricardo because, yeah, Ricardo would end his bloody career. There's no doubt about it if he tried to take him on, like, the way he is taking, like, basically, like, the way he's taking on Alfredo right now. If he did the same thing there, he would have been taken apart, probably broken joy. He would have ended up exactly like Date did. And that was not very nice. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much a predictable comeback in Ippo terms, you know, um, obviously Ippo's training, keeping him on his feet and everything, all that lower body training, and not to mention his whole fisherman-ness, which has allowed him to fire punches from any angle, obviously like Itagaki was saying, because of the whole swaying of the boat, he's used to like all these weird angles to be able to fire from. Um, and obviously finally Alfredo did the one thing, which was obviously a punch out of desperation, which is, well, the one punch that Ippo and coach have been training for, so yeah. With this, with Ippo now seeing this punch coming at him, knows exactly how to counter it. The counter attack will finally begin, but the question actually is: Will this strike land or not? You know, like will Alfredo be quick to react to what the heck he's going to see and then completely counter him? Because let's face it, sure Alfredo's getting a bit like desperate at the moment because Ippo's not going down, but still, this guy is not stupid. You know, especially when he's in this mode here, he's just like wild instincts. Come on, you saw what happened when he saw the Dempsey roll. Just looked at it like. <laughs> what is this? This is what's fun. I'm going to jump straight in. So, yeah, this kind of like little kind of counter attack that Ippo's got going, I don't think it will really phase him that much. He might be like, oh, crap. He might dodge it and it's like, wow, okay, I remember I won't do that anymore. So, yeah, question is, what's going to happen in the next one? So, hopefully, we won't have to wait too long for that, guys. And, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this review here from me. You know, the usual things to do at the, at the end of these. Let me know what you thought about this chapter in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the other stuff we do on the channel. So, I'll see you next time.